Who is Nigeria's greatest artist of all time? Fela Anikulapo. Fela Kuti. Fela Ransom Kuti. Face Idibia. Be gentleman at all. I know be gentleman at all. I know be gentleman at all. Zumbi yo, zumbi, zumbi yo. Zumbi yo, zumbi, zumbi yo. The fella you see, his music is not only for himself, a particular person, but for the society. Nine thousand. I will not be very happy. My name is Damlaria. Online, you're watching Legit TV. Looking at the likes of Two Face Idibia, Whiskey, Davido, Late Victor Olaya, Late Fella, and Nicola Kokuti, without smizing words, the music industry has produced loads and loads of talented music artists. That's why Legit TV took to the street today to find out from Nigeria's, who is Nigeria's greatest artist of all time. I'm Dola Kwamodini. Keep watching Legit TV. Fela Kuti. Why, why Fela? He's a legendary. He has um, a unique style okay. of playing his music. It's very unique. That's all I can say. If you had to remember Fela for three things, what would that be? The first thing, he was a visionary okay. and uh, he was outspoken and fearless. Oh, okay. Majority of the opinion that it's like Fela saw the future with his music. Yes, exactly. What do you have to say about that? That's what I said, he's a visionary. If you could see what's happening in our country today, he said about it years back, and uh, it's happening now. So that's why I say he's a visionary. He saw the future and he sang about it. So to me, he's a really a real visionary. I think that would be Fela. Why Fela? Well, his music he is dead, but his music still lives on. So that's that's why I think he's the greatest of all of all. Okay. But majority of the opinion that you know Fela is a visionary artist. His songs speak about the future. Yes, that's that because even his songs are still relevant till date. So that's why I think it's one of the the greatest anyway. Not one of the greatest, but the greatest. Well, I'll give it to Fela, pay homage. The guy is just he created what Nigeria is currently enjoying. So Fela. So what are the things that Nigeria is currently enjoying? I mean, every artist that stems that stemmed out of Nigeria is doing um, an off genre of Afro, you understand? Afro pop. I mean, this guy is doing Afro life right now, Fireboy DML, right? So, um, Bonaboy said he was doing Afro fusion. Mm -hmm. So, everything is based on Afro. Fela gave us that Afrocentric vibe that we have today. So, I mean, he's far the greatest artist from out of Nigeria for me. My greatest artist of all time is Fela Ransom Kuti. Ah, why Fela? <laughs> It is Fela because, um, number one, he's a Nigerian. Uh, number two, his songs reflect currently what is going on in the country, both currently and, in fact, sometimes I begin to think if Fela is a prophet. Sometimes I call him a prophet anyway. Yeah. They're saying that his songs, you know, yes. they refer to the future. Yes, yes. His songs are just revelation of what is going to happen in the future. So to ah. me, he is Nigeria's greatest artist of all time. Yeah, I play uh, his music <laughs> almost a, every day or maybe twice in a day, you know, because of his music are inspirational. Yes. So to me, he is the greatest artist of all time. To another person... It might be Davido, it might be someone else. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, I think I so much uh, believe in Fela's song. Face, Idibia. Hey, two Baba, why two Baba? No shaking. You know, right from time, I like the standard the guy laid down, you know, like the foundation. You know, the guy started then, and uh, if you look at the other members that started with him, he's still the one that is uh, doing very well. So, and I like the way he's pushing it, you know. He talks about uh, what is happening to him, you know. So I love him. He's passionate about what he's doing. Apart from married to like four or five girls. So I, I still like I know, I know he's married to one, no. I don't know the other four that you added. I know one that he's legally married to. 
Uh, yeah, when you say uh, he married to only one person, uh, but uh, what about those that give it to, you know? Uh, he didn't marry them now. He didn't marry Fine, them. they have kids together, but they are not married. They only married one of them. Okay, I think that is fine. Yeah. Is there, uh, really? Aside from Two Faced songs, uh, songs, what else do you like about Two Baba that made you say, oh yes, he is the greatest artist? Mm, Two Baba, the guy is just being uh, realistic in everything he does. Because, you know, he doesn't fake up uh, stuff or story. So he does his own thing his own way. So I just li I like him that way. So what can you say about um, his songs? We know some of the songs have deep meaning. Deep meaning Especially yeah. some of them talk about, you know, the state of the nation. Yeah. Would you say Tu Baba has actually, has actually, you know, seen the future? before going ahead to write his songs or record them in the studio? Yeah, what is there is that uh, most of these uh, musicians, you know, it's like they are prophets. You, you know, the same thing with Fela. You know, when they talk something today, you okay. began to realize that maybe in the next two or three months, the things start happening. So they are like a prophet. So, that so is would you say this is part of what is still keeping Tubaba relevant in the industry till date? Yes, I will. That's what is keep, keeping him um, like ahead of everyone because the guy is being realistic as in he does his own thing his own way. Fela and Nikula. Why are fella. you picking Fela? The Fela, you see, his music is not only for himself or for the uh, particular person, but for the society. He wants, he wanted changes in the society. He stood for the peoples. So you cannot find many musicians in these days who are doing those things. They may be going to the uh, these uh, big personnel, the VIP parties, they will be singing for them, but they will not tell them the truth. Hmm. So for the fella, it's true for the masses and he, he said the truth. And he, he did not fear any person in what he was singing. But uh, uh, I'm very sad this day because we cannot find a musician like Fela and Nicola Po. Okay, so majority of the opinion that Fela is a visionary singer. Yeah. Like his songs, you know, they see the future. So what can you say about that? Tom? Yeah, you know, to understand whether a Fela saw the futures or not, it depends on the, the present where he fought for. He fought for the, the present in order to get a better future for the Nigerian. He saw that if the thing continue like this, we are not going to have a better future. So he planned for the future and he fought for the future of the people, uh, uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria. So as, aside from fighting for the future of the people through his songs, what else do you like about Fela Nicola Kokuti? Uh, I like his uh, sincerity and uh, transparency. You know, some people, they may be singing something and their behavior will be another thing. So it's not like that. He shows himself on the stage and even if you know him personally, you know he's a real person. It's not like the person will be singing something for the people. And for himself, he has another thing. He's not like that. That's what I like in him. All right, so what is your favorite song of Fela? Uh, the one I could remember that uh, usually give me Inspiration is a young man, the Yoko, Nigba, Baku, Bao. You know, it's something that we need to put in our society. People have to know it. You have to work it, work on it. It's not only Yoko. Everywhere in the Federation, we have to know that the working is something we should have as our strength and energy. You see, people now, most of the people, they don't want to work. If you consider who are working, who are really working, they are less than those who are not working. Those who have the strength for working, they are less than those who are not working. So that is it. So he inspired us to work and he told us that working in a co city is something that uh, is important to Lagosian. Zumbi yo, zumbi, zumbi yo, zumbi yo, zumbi, zumbi yo. 